Don Bruce again. So, after taking a look at the log, which of course I'm using the Java launcher, and actually I should probably show you all where the logs are normally. You go to log, latest.log. If Minecraft Transport Simulator ever has an issue trying to parse something, it will put the error inside the log. And so, you got a bunch of stuff here in jars, blah, 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 blah. But what you're looking for here is right here. It said, error, could not parse wayward craft hangs 49.jarson. And it says, expected end array, but with string at line 145, column 8. So, let's go look at line 145 and figure out what may have been wrong with that line. So, you go back to our downloads folder, assets, wayward craft, vehicle, things 49, open the JSON file, and scroll down to 149, which would be right here. So, what's the issue with this? Well, that doesn't look like a problem. Am I sure it's 149? 145, well, that would explain why. So, ah! Okay, so right here, we forgot ourselves a little square bracket. That would definitely make a, make Minecraft an angry, angry person. So, let's save that. And let's just kill this Minecraft. We don't, we don't need that running. And so, instead of going and trying to have to go and zip that up again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to here, go to my mods folder. I'm going to open that in 7-zip. And I'm just going to go and drag and drop that saved, more better, less uh, faulty Jarson into that file. And hit play again. And let's see if I actually won't corrupt anything this time. <laughs> and so we wait, we wait, we wait, and see what's in here. And actually I can go and take a look and see if there's any parsing errors inside of there. I don't see anything right away, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Let's see if this works. Hey, there we go. See, now that we don't have a parsing error, we can actually grab one of our vehicles. So let's give this a whirl. Fingers crossed and lovely. See how easy that was? No code required. So let's try and put our wheels on. Um, of course, you and you has their silly little checker problem, but I really think white walls should work for this. Let's see, turbine, dish wheel. Oh, they do work. See, that's why you go and change the wheel parameters. So, can you not say that that's not classy? Lovely, lovely, lovely. It was a good idea to make those wheels bigger. And let's go to a car seat. Um, budget car seat, standard car seat, ivory, lemon, ooh, which one would work? Um, let's try silver. Let's see how this looks in there. Not bad, not bad at all. There's a, oh, okay. Yeah, so that actually lines up perfectly with the rear, and that, that was actually a great choice of seat positioning. And seats could, no, oh, those are perfect. Cool. So... Now, let's try engines. Um, can I put a V8 in there? Yes, I can. Awesome. And because we were good with where we picked uh, the engine, it, uh, yeah. See, that does not stick out at all. That's a huge model. In fact, does it stick out at the bottom? We may need to... Nope, it doesn't stick out at the bottom either. So... Lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're already in the car. Let's uh, turn this to nighttime, make sure our lights work. Yep. Brake lights do work. Oh my goodness, it's dark. Uh, I guess there's spiders back there? Okay. Yeah, I better turn on my headlights because I can't see anything. There we go. And as you can see, our headlights work. Do our church signals work? They do, but they're yellow, not white, so that might be a problem. The weird church signals don't seem to work, so we'll have to go take a look at 
that. But, I mean, it's drivable. It moves. You can run over creepers and endermans. Which, uh, I might say is a success. So, in the next video, we'll start to take a look at uh, instruments and gauges and some other things to uh, make your vehicle just a little bit better. But, I'd say this is not too bad. This is John Bruce, signing off.